Yo, what up, what up, this is your boy King Series straight from Busy Home Beat. Yes, and in today's video, it's a mixing tutorial that we're actually going to go through. So, as the title says, um, mixing dub vocals to be an interesting one. You get it? The artist um, is actually starting up music and um, her, his confidence is actually really down. So, the vocals sound dull, but we still manage to make sure that it sounds great and nice. So, let's listen to the vocals with mix. Then after that, we just go through the process and I explain certain things to you. Wait, there's one secret down there that I have to show you, I have to tell you. If your vocals sound dull always in your music, um, so you don't have to be skipping or running away. Just take your time. So let's listen to the song. Then after that, um, we just break everything down. So we have this. And I want to blow. I want to show. Father want to blow. I want to show, find I want to blow, oh, oh, I want to show, find I want to blow, I want to show. Okay. So that is a song, very nice. It's sounding good and great, right? But let me just take solo the vocals and take all the um, effects which I actually use on it from it. Then after that, you just listen to it yourself. The vocal sound, or um, yes. So let me mute everything now. Listen to the vocals alone. Father want to blow. I want to show. Father want to blow. I want to show. Father want to blow. Oh. Oh, I want to show, father, I want to blow, I want to show. You can actually tell that he is a beginner, he actually don't understand um, the confidence about mic techniques and everything. So, uh, as an engineer, you have to make sure that you know what you're actually going for, you get it? So, one major secret, which I will tell you last in the, in the video, so we just uh, i want us to go through the process after the process then i'll tell you how you can actually make sure that this thing sound amazing super amazing for yourself so obviously you know the mixing thing um i put the gate on it you know the work of the gate if you have been following my tutorial i was talk about this uh, block the background noises inside it you get it then the auto tune because um he is a beginner he actually don't understand i know know how to i mean put confidence and i mean sing very well um, the key is F major then I put the retune speed around this if he actually know how to sing properly and I uh, mean his confidence everything I wouldn't have bring it around 10 but because I brought it they have to humanize it you get it rather than it being a robot sound yes so with these two sounds on it this is how it goes father want to blow I want to show father want to blow I want to show father want to blow it's actually giving it some little change over there so the next thing is eq um and for it to sound i mean interesting and stuff your uh, eq also plays a major role in it when the artist um vocal sound really dull yes your eq plays a major role in that but if it doesn't sound dull, the eq also matters but not too much like that but so far as the artist is actually not performing well i mean performing well as in his confidence level and everything Yes, so the EQ you have to cut most of the low ends here and make sure I make I make it sound I mean not too thin but in a full a full way but it's supposed to be you get it some exciting way. Yeah, so without the EQ this is how it sounds. Father want to blow I want to show Father want to blow I want to show Father want to blow I want to show, father want to blow, oh, oh, I want to show. So a very little change over there, which makes it sound great. So the next thing is compressor, yes. Um, I didn't compress it too much, and um, you know, CLA2A compressor is a very nice compressor, which actually also give it some kind of full and energy in the vocals, you get it, when the vocals sound really dull, it gives you some energy in it. So with the compressor on it, now we have this. Father want to blow, I want to show. Father want to blow, I want to show. So this is the settings. I brought the gain around 38.32, then 
the peak reduction around 54.64 yes so there's the settings for the compressor now it's just uh, the normal way of mixing your vocal but the last thing that i'm going to tell you will actually help you so just stay through it and um, don't skip it you get it so the next one is um our deesser just to take away those semblances and you know how it goes and i put another compressor on it this is the work of the work of the this compressor is actually tightening up every stuff here that we did so father i want to blow i want to show father i want to blow i want to show father i want to blow oh oh i want to show father i want to blow so you can actually tell that uh, there's no wave form here which is actually playing louder than each other it has it has been compressed in a very good way you get it so this part if i take this compressors from it you can actually tell that this part plays very low father i want to blow compared to this I, part father i want to blow oh oh i want to show you get the show was going uh, down but if i put the compressors on it then you know we got a very good mix in there so where where, where this part is oh, oh i want to show father i want to blow so it has tightened it up and making sure that it is an even volume. You got it. So this is the settings. I put the threshold around. You just have to tweak your threshold. You don't have to copy my settings. Just use your ears and uh, make sure you are getting what you really need with a compressor. So attack fast attack and fast release of 31.1 milliseconds and 4.75 milliseconds on the attack. So this is the settings for this compressor. And the next thing I put here is an EQ again. Uh, because it's sounding down i boost you know most of my tutorial i don't like to boost the high ends but for this um sounding dial is not actually cutting through the mix for me so i have to boot boost the high ends here we using this eq and i brought um this guy around 12.5 hertz so originally it was around five but i have to boost the 12 12.5 hertz range you get it then for this part i actually didn't touch it then the low ends i brought it around negative 2 db yes so i decrease around the 100 hertz i decrease it around negative 2 db just cut that frequencies out so with this um one two three four five this five process uh, processing plugin that we put on it this is how it sounds now father i want to blow i want to show father i want to blow i want to show father I want to blow oh oh i want to show Yeah, so you can actually see that it has actually gained some i mean energy and some confidence in it a little bit not too much of it but it's nice then the next thing is our you know reverb and stuff so in cubase here um i did always use fxn most of the time i use fxn reverb i don't actually just put everything on it straightforward so you create an fxn for that and um, this is the reverb i'm using Valhalla vintage verb so the mode is split and my decay time is 2.81 yes if you don't know how to actually set your reverb just search on my channel there um i have reverb stuffs there almost two videos for you guys how to control your reverb and how to set your reverb stuff yes it actually work if you are actually starting as a beginner so i put almost negative 15.85 there so if i play it for you this is what we have now with the reverb on it father i want to blow i want to show father i want to blow yes and um, you can actually see that it's not actually too much but you might think it's too much because when the beat comes inside it fills up all those kind of empty spaces around the vocals and everything matches up you get it it's a way of making sure that your beat is balanced with your vocals give some spaces to your vocals so that the other frequencies from the beat will actually um occupy those frequencies you get it and this is the delay settings i use this delay from cubase if you have cubase 5 then probably you can use this technique in any daw that you are using right yes so one over four 25.5 and start so that's the settings for this but the one trick last trick that i actually wanted to tell you is that father i want to blow i want to show father i want to blow so the delay on it that's how it sounds so the one trick that i actually want to tell you that if the vocal sound though and you want it to be interesting like this um the major key that you're supposed to understand is um your beat your beat your beat must play a major role in that other than that when the vocal sound nice 
um, and the beat is actually not um, grooving your vocals. It's going to still sound very dull, even not too much dull. It's going to sound dull because um, the person actually didn't put too much energy in or the confidence in singing the song. You get it. So you have to make sure that your beat is actually groovy. So what I did is on a normal, maybe I might reduce the part. I might reduce the part, but because um the vocal sound though I didn't reduce the part, I ro I rather brought it up a little bit and this guy. Yeah, this guy too I brought it up a little so that it will be backing the vocal to get it. Yes and the uh, bass too i brought it low just to make sure that it is having a very tight low ends yes i brought it low so that it will be having a very tight low end so you have to make sure that you work on your beat to make it sound great and nice so that when the vocal the door vocals comes inside and you treat it with this kind of um processing here uh, yes this kind of reset here trust me everything is going to sound great so with this one it now we have something very nice I want to blow, I want to show. Father, I want to blow, I want to show. Father, I want to blow, oh, oh, I want to show. Father, I want to blow, I want to show. Yeah, so that's the trick I actually wanted to show you. So just go in and practice with door vocals and trust me, you're going to get there. It's your boy can see you straight from busy home beat. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up to this video and trust me, your time will never be wasted. Yes, I'm out.